try. Paige, a, a new member to the, to the Women's 7 squad, how have you been finding it so far? Um, I've been finding it really tough actually because, you know, coming into training just, you know, from I live in Bankstown and, you know, just trying to develop my game and everything. But it's been really good. The girls have, you know, opened up and, you know, teaching me the ways of what they've been learning and everything. But it's been really good. You've had a, a pretty, you know, good pathway through to this stage. I mean, you were part of the Bahamas who won the gold over there in the Youth Commonwealth Games and, of course, the Aon Sevens. Have you found, like, that progression is helping your game too? Yes, I think it's been helping a lot, especially, you know, coming into training with the Aussie Sevens girls, getting that development from the youth, then playing with some of the girls in the Aon Sevens and then, you know, getting to train with the Aussie girls. You're moving on to Oceania next, so you know, you maybe get a chance to pull on that green and gold with some of these girls who are yeah. Olympic champions. How exciting is that? Oh, it's just so exciting because, you know, I went away to Bendigo with the girls, and which was really good, so I got to play with some of them there. But I'm really looking forward to going to Fiji. It's going to be my first time playing in the Oceania Cup, and I'm really looking forward to it. Tell us a little bit about how you perhaps got into rugby. I first started um, playing touch and then my touch football coach said, would you like to give rugby a go? First I said no because I thought it was 15s, but then he said, oh no, come along to one of the trainings or trials and you know, give it a go. It's only sevens and I thought, why not? So I went along and I really enjoyed it after that and I first started with Maruba Magic. So that's how I got into it. Just you know, started playing with them, then made New South Wales, and then the Aussie coaches picked me up and everything. Same as New South Wales coaches, and yeah, I've just been playing ever since. What about like you know coming in and getting to train alongside the likes of you know Charlotte Kazakh, Alicia Quirk? Does it feel weird still, or are you starting to get used to that kind of thing? Yeah, it still kind of feels weird, but I am slowly getting used to it because I'm you know seeing them every day, and yeah, it's just like normal people now. <laughs> And I guess, uh, you know, when you watched the Rio gold medal happen, was that sort of like a, I don't know, like a lightning bolt moment in your mind where, you know, I want to go to 2020, I want to be part of that, that Olympic thing? Yes, it was definitely. As soon as I saw them win, I wanted to be there. I wanted to be in their shoes. You know, I want to get that gold medal at that, I want to be at that level that they are now.